George, three on the banks, that must be pretty pleasing, your reflections on that one. Yeah, I mean, we're really pleased to have won all three so far. Um, I think that was an interesting game. Obviously, we had a great start. I thought the middle patch was sticky and, and Quinn's had that momentum going into the first, uh, into the half-time break. You know, they had that sort of back end of that and then the first 10 minutes of the second half. But what was really pleasing was some of the young lads have, have um, you know, when you're on top and you're scoring, there's obviously a feel good. They had to ride out a, a serious momentum storm, if you like. And they did that. And Quinn's had a good patch when we had um, a man in the sim bin. But I thought the way they dogged it out, found their, their way to almost score a few tries but keep the pressure on Quinn's was really, really good. I'm going to use the old ad adage of a game of two halves, but in the sense of the first half, there was, there was plenty of score in the second half. It was a, probably a little bit more physical, a little bit more dogged in, in time, at times. Yeah, I, th I think, you know, there was, there was some good tries both ways in the first half and then second half. Yeah, dog is probably the word, I think. Two good teams going at each other and, um, you know, both teams probably had opportunities. There's a few we, we definitely had that we didn't quite close out. And, um, you know, I thought their, their mall defence was very good. So um, there'd be some really good stuff. I think the, the real positive from today is I think we can get a lot better than that. And, um, you know, the other side is there's a lot of young guys have had a lot of game time the last three weeks and, you know, they're, they're really putting their hands up. And as you mentioned there, there's a lot of young guys that have come through this academy system. They put their hands up pretty much since you've come through, really. Uh, COVID period through last year and that you it's really starting to bear the fruits I guess of their hard work over those that period. Yeah, a huge chunk of that team today in the last two games before that are guys who came in at the same time as me and um you know and, and Dom and, and those guys and I think, you know, we've had three years of sort of grooming them and getting them to be the way we think a Gloucester rugby player should be and um they're brilliant lads. They've committed wholly to doing that and uh you know they're they're starting to um to come through and I think that's really really exciting for us it's you know there's lots of pressure now within the squad in different positions um, even after the back of those three games and you know I'm really excited about the way some of them are coming through and I guess what's particularly pleasing is is those young lads have, have faced some stern opposition some experienced players as well and, and they've come out on top th three games in a row yeah absolutely you know Sarri's had some big names last week and um, you know the team sheet looked pretty tasty as we headed down there and Quinn's had some very big names on the field today and I thought um I thought the boys dealt with it really, really well. They're composed, you know, they're, they're prepared. They know what they've got to do. Doing it in a, in a high-end game is, is a different story, but I think the amount of work they're putting in, how diligent they are with their prep, knowing what they've got to do and, you know, the standard that the senior lads have set, you know, those young guys come in knowing exactly what's expected and, you know, they're, they're showing real good colours. And finally, a word on next week. It's, uh, it's a double whammy, if you like, with, with Barbarians and Harper in. And I'm sure the whole squad will get a little bit of a look in at on, on that weekend. Yeah, absolutely. It's a really exciting weekend. You know, we've got the Barbarians coming here with a, with a fully loaded Barbarians team who've, who've uh, sort of smashed everyone they've played, actually. So that's a real big challenge, you know, and that's going to be a, a proper, proper game. And um, obviously, Hartbury in the Prem Cup and it's uh, Hartbury, you know, beat Nottingham. So we've watched those games and... We've obviously got a very, very good relationship with Hartbury, so we know each other pretty well. So that poses a massive challenge to us as well. Um, I'm going to relax tonight and then there's probably a busy 48 hours confirming exactly what those two teams are going to look like. Um, but very exciting weekend ahead. Thanks, George. Cheers.